We begin with sad news tonight. We have just learned that retired Senator Carl Levin has passed away at the age of 87. The Democratic leader served Michigan for more than 30 years with pride and integrity. Tonight we look back at his extraordinary life. Carl Milton Levin was born in Detroit in 1934. He graduated from Central High School and later earned a law degree from Harvard. In 1961, he married Barbara Halpern and would later have three daughters. Like his brother and father, Levin entered private practice as an attorney before launching a career in public service. He served as an attorney for Michigan Civil Rights Commission and helped to form the first public defender's office in Detroit. After the 1967 riots, Levin successfully ran for a seat on Detroit City Council, then called the Common Council. In his second term, he was elected council president and became a close ally of the newly elected mayor, Coleman A. Young. Among city insiders, he was even referred to the mayor's right-hand man. In 1978, Levin set his sights on Washington, winning a race for the U.S. Senate in an upset against Republican incumbent Robert Griffin. Two years later, he was joined on Capitol Hill by his younger brother, Sander, who was elected to Congress from Michigan in 1982. During his time in the Senate, Levin was praised for his ability to work with colleagues on both sides of the political line. The auto industry is essential to the future economy of this country. He served on several high-profile committees, including Armed Services, Homeland Security, and the Select Committee on Intelligence. Levin often pushed for tax reform, leading investigations into large corporations that he thought were avoiding paying Uncle Sam what they owe. He also led several hearings looking into shady investment deals after after the Great Recession. How much of that deal did you sell to your clients after June 22, 2007? One of his other signature issues, protecting the environment. During his tenure, Levin secured millions in funding for the Great Lakes and several other Michigan sanctuaries, parks, and wilderness areas. In 2014, shortly after becoming Michigan's longest serving senator, he decided not to run for re-election. I will enjoy reading about the Senate's progress in the years ahead. As Barbara and I are sitting on a Lake Michigan beach or showing the world to our grandkids. After retiring from Washington, Levin once again entered private law practice and taught at the law school named after him at Wayne State University. In 2016, the Navy announced that they would name a new guided missile destroyer after Carl Levin. So far, the family has not released the cause of death. His nephew, Congressman Andy Levin, had this to say about his uncle. Carl Levin personified integrity and the notion of putting the public good above self-interest. Our condolences go out to his family and all that knew and worked with the senator over the years.